This demonstration is going to illustrate how SMS can be used by customers with GoToConnect. The first example is of handling SMSs from the Goto app. Once enabled, in the messaging or inbox view, you will have now the option for texting. Creating a text is easy. Simply click to create a message, find your contact, alternatively, type in the number. For contacts with which you have communicated before, you will find the history of previous messages. Enter your text in the dialog box, click send, and the message will be sent out on the number shown just above the dialog box. I have brought up the mobile phone view to show you the conversation that is initiated. Note that this is a two-way conversation, and it also allows you to add emojis and hyperlinks. Each time a new message is received, a notification is added to the inbox. The way to enable SMS for a user is through the Goto Administrator portal, located at admin.goto.com. Select Phone System, Phone Numbers, and the number you wish to allocate to the user. Under the settings, scroll down to permissions. Add one or more users. In my example, I have two. Then ensure that send and receive text messages are enabled. Note that one number can have multiple users, but also one user can have multiple numbers. If you need multiple people to access text on a particular number, a better way of achieving this is by sending the text into a queue. The setup of this changes by sending or rerouting your texting to an SMS or a chat queue. In my instance, it's called an SMS queue. The end user interface now changes. Multiple agents will have access to the same conversations in their inbox. So if I initiate the conversation on the same number, which is now rerouted to the chat queue, you will find a notification in an inbox. Initially, it is shown as unassigned, and I can assign it to myself as an agent. Because I've got a phone number associated with that, my contact may be linked to this conversation. So that enables me to have a look at the history. And that history could be phone calls, web chat, and previous SMS conversations. Sending out text is pretty easy. You can use pre-saved messages. And the conversation is two-directional. The inbox actually captures the entire conversation as one flow every time somebody initiates a new session. The session is identified by resolving. Once resolved, it's the end of that session and your inbox is empty. The benefit of using queues is now you've got reporting. So you can have a look at all the reports, if visible, AI sentiment, AI summary, and the conversations that actually took place for you to review. Lastly, I'm going to demonstrate some automation that can be achieved using SMS. I'm going to generate an SMS message every time someone passes through a specific point in the call path. The call path is defined through a dial plan. So let me show you what that looks like. Here you can see that during business hours, every time a caller selects one for orders, I'm going to send them an SMS thanking them for reaching out. I've got options to send that immediately or once the call has finished. So let's have a look at what that looks like from a caller coming into that dial plan. So I'm going to place a call into that queue by dialing into the orders queue. I will be greeted by auto attendant whereupon I press one. That is now routed to an agent that answers that call. 
back on the mobile, the caller will have a message. Thank you for your order inquiry. And that completes the demonstration.